Hello. Here we are going to treat perimeter. Perimeter is just the total length of the whole object. So here we have a triangle. The perimeter is the sum of the length surrounding that um, object. So here we have the perimeter of this will then be 4 plus 3 plus 5. So to find the perimeter, it's the sum of all the sides of the object. So we have 5 plus 3 plus 4. So 5 plus 3 will give us 8. 8 plus 4 will give us what? 12. Right? So that's the perimeter. So let's read again. 5 plus 3 gives us 8 plus 4. 8 plus 4, what does it give us? 12. So that's the perimeter of this triangle. So remember for next time, the perimeter is the sum of the sides of the object. Good. Okay, let's work through this together. Perimeter here is 34. That is, the total sum of all the sides of this object is 34. That's what we are given. But there's a trick here. There's a side named X, but there is no answer. There's no figure for that. So we have to find out what X is. But we have been told that the total perimeter of this object is 34. So what do we do? We write out an equation for it. So we know that 7 plus 4 plus 6 plus 7 plus x will give us 34. Yeah, so here we go. 7 plus 6 plus 4 plus 7 plus x will give us 34. So we go further, 7 plus 6 gives us what, 13, yeah, then 4 plus 7 gives us what, 11, so we write 13 plus 11, we're, break, we're breaking it down gradually so that we don't make a mistake. So we have 13 plus, 4 plus 11 plus x gives us 34, yes, then we add 13 plus 11, that gives us 24 plus x, right? 34. Yeah, we're getting there. So now we have x here and we have 34 there and 24. Now for us to find what x is, we leave x here and we, we take 24 to the other side. And anytime you swap a figure from one side of the equal to the other, you change the sign of that figure. So here we have plus 24. So when we take it to the other side, it becomes minus 24. Remember that. When you have equation and you have equal between them, when you take figure from one side to the other, the sign must change to the opposite sign. So here we have x. We leave x here alone because it's x we are looking for. So x is equal to 34 minus 24 because we brought 24 to the other side. So it becomes minus. So we have x is equal to 34 minus 24. So let's solve this together. 4 minus 4 is 0. 3 minus 2 is 1. So the answer is 10. Did you get 10? Good. Well done.